2013 Toyota Tundra. I'm gonna show you how to do the alternator. But first of all, the procedure tells you to take all this out of the way for whatever reason. No idea because I did all of this from the bottom. I didn't even need any of this. I didn't access anything from up here. So I don't really know why they tell you to take it out unless they want you to take the fan shroud and stuff and come up this way, but that uh, don't seem right. I didn't have to do any of that. So I'm gonna show you how I did it. So basically the way you need to do it is gonna be through here and through the bottom. So first thing, get this uh, cover out of the way. Oh, this will come out with it. But you just pop these, there's five clips holding that in, get that out of the way. I took this connector off and unconnected it so I have room to move this around. Uh, then take the under shield off, goes right here. And you can take the sway bar loose right here and this is going to be where the alternator comes out uh, so i don't know why they wanted me to take the air cleaner and stuff off so because you're coming out this way you're going to pop this off of here just unclip this so you got more harness room here uh, this one was already actually unclipped but this little bracket here you see this hole right here bolted to the side of the alternator undid that make sure this is loose give you freedom of movement of all this uh, like I said I undid that uh, made sure everything was unhooked from there and then I reached through past these hoses you got to take two bolts out of this alternator. You got a long one up top and a short one down bottom. I used a short, maybe six inch ish, three eighths ratchet with a, a deep at first, a deep socket at first to break it loose. And once I got it out some, I used a semi deep. Uh, and then you can pry this off and this moves out of the way. And that'll allow you to get the two alternator bolts here and here out. And then once you get this out, this one's actually a stud. And as you can see, I pulled the stud out. And there is a uh, dowel in there that helps hold the alternator on when you take the rest of the bolts out. So take this bolt out, take this nut off, take that stud out. And then you can come down here and you can get these two out. And to get these two out, I used one of those mountain wrenches, those long mountain wrenches. This here, so this is 12, 14. I'm gonna be using the 14 up in there and break it loose, get it loose. And this one had enough to do it one at a time. So I'll do the back one, cause it's the harder to break that one loose first, spit it out by hand. And then when I got this one loose, there was enough tension holding on the uh, dowel pin up there that I was able to spin it out by hand. You'll have to push these lines down some to skirt the bolts out of the way. So you have to push it down about like that and then they'll pull out. And then you can squeeze the alternator out this way. And first of all it comes out right here. It's going to be hitting this and this. So put this down underneath the alternator and then you have to be careful with this because what's going to be hitting this mainly is the uh, alternator stud so you need to kind of squeeze it out of the way make sure you don't rip it with the alternator stud don't he-man it out be gentle with it and then once you get that stud passed the alternator will literally just come right out that hole so it's pretty easy so a quick recap is remove this guard remove this splash shield take this off out of the way take this off take this right here off of this 
and I did loosen that nut up right there so this would spin if I needed it to but you might not need to take it off there take this bolt out so it comes loose from the alternator and then you go through the side here take these connectors out of the way fit your ratchet up through here like so take one two power steering bolts out and then the power steering pump will fall down make sure you have this disconnected this disconnected and just have it sitting out of the way and then you can get to the two alternator bolts and after you do that you're going to get the alternator plug off and then the alternator stud nut 10 mil off and first of all because i haven't mentioned it yet before you go messing with that alternator stud make sure your battery is disconnected don't ground something out and shock yourself or catch a fire and take that alternator stud out take that stud out right there then you can come underneath remove the two lower bolts and then the alternator will slide out through this hole right here uh, and then you're home free also as far as amperage goes you can see this this is a 27060-0S020 which is a 150 amp alternator but as you can see here For the 4.6 and the 5.7, there's both 130 and 150 amp versions. And I'm assuming depending on how much stuff was packed on it from the factory is what you need. The higher electrical load of the, after my, of the accessories, the higher the amperage. And I'm going to tell you that I'm almost 100% certain these are going to be interchangeable. If you have 130, you can put 150 on it. They're the same alternator, basically just different amperage ratings bolt on the same the plug configuration is the same the pin outs are the same so if you have 130 and you added some extra stuff or you just want that extra amperage because it's not using it all the time i mean alternators almost never amp out so go ahead and throw 150 on there I've done this with dsms they come with 75 you throw 90s on it or you get someone to build you a bigger one it works so if you got 130, you can just go ahead and throw on 150. No problem. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. Later.